In this episode, I will show you some of my favorite shooting spots in Central Park, New York. What's up everyone? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Alan Martinez and I'm an international wedding and lifestyle photographer. And through this channel, I provide videos for photographers and cinematographers who want to improve their craft. I also provide videos for wedding couples who want to learn from my experiences and have a better wedding day. So if you're not already a subscriber, consider subscribing and hit that bell next to the subscribe button so you can be notified when I upload a new video. Today's video is for those who want to shoot in Central Park. It's a massive area with lots of pictures opportunities everywhere. However, there's a lot of walking involved and picture spots are scattered throughout the park. And if you don't know where you're going, you may seem unprepared. Your client is going to get sweaty and it's just not going to be a good scenario. There are so many spots to shoot in Central Park that I've decided to split this into two videos. And there's a link in the description to a PDF that has all these spots, how to get them, their names, and exactly all the information you need so you waste no time during your shoot date and you go straight to that spot. I started on the entrance on the southeast part of the park by the Plaza Hotel. And if you've seen iPhone photos before of Central Park, you'll know that there's hundreds of people here at all times. And you may be wondering, well, where are all the people in my videos? Well, guess what? I woke up very early for this video and I suggest that you do as well. First stop is at the top of this rock where you can see some of the skyline and also the park below. From here, you can see your next picture spots such as the pond below and the Gap Store Bridge just a few steps away. And here's a pond which offers really good reflection spots and other picture opportunities. Then walk over to the Gap Store Bridge which offers great opportunities for pictures in front of it, on top of it and even behind it. If your client is getting married at the Plaza or the Pierre Hotel or any other property on the east side of the park, I definitely recommend that you start here. And here are some of the shots that I've taken around this area in the past. Another famous spot is the mall, which is this long area covered by trees, which has been featured in many movies before. It's quite famous and beautiful. This area is busy at all times of the day. Even at sunrise, there's people running before they go to work and walking their dogs. But with a little bit of patience, you can always find the time to take a picture without anyone in your background. However, if you don't have the time, there's also a spot to the left of it which has nothing but trees in the background and a lot less people crossing through. By the way, I filmed this both in the fall and the spring, so you're going to see footage from both seasons sprinkled throughout this video. Central Park is beautiful to shoot in any season of the year. Then at the end of the mall, you get to the Bethesda Fountain, which is also an area that offers amazing opportunities for pictures all around it. You got the fountain itself as a backdrop, the terrace right above it, the steps, the boathouse as the background, the tiled ceilings underneath. I mean, you have endless opportunities for pictures all around this area. And here's also some footage during the fall so you can see what this area looks like in a different season.
Once again, the key here is to come early. This area is very busy and lots of tours are here after nine o'clock. Here are some photographs that I've taken here before. A little advice is to do some research before your photo shoot as there always seems to be something going on in the park. There could be either a marathon or a triathlon or any other kind of race. They're filming Good Morning America or a concert or anything at all that may affect the way you get to your photo shoot. So do some research before and plan accordingly. And I'm going to cut part one here. Don't forget to check the link in the description that has a PDF with all this information so you waste no time on your shoot date. I hope you found this video useful and if you did, give it a like and share it with anyone else you also think may find it useful. If you're not already a subscriber, consider subscribing and hit that bell next to the subscribe button so you can be notified as soon as I upload a new video. It's good to see you here and I'll see you on the next one.